It's such a great tradition, pantomime. Yes, it really is. And I've been doing it for many years, and I, I always love it. It's not like any other acting job. You're there, you, you create this little gang of, of friends and actors, and you all form this great bond. And it, you're there for a long time, and it it's just becomes more and more fun, I think. The dame it, it really is a vital part of uh, the pantomime, and for since the beginning, there's been a tradition of the different sexes playing different things. I think it's fabulous that when you're traditional that you have uh, a girl playing the principal boy, and I think uh, a dame, you've got to be a man in a frock. The best thing you can have at the end is kids coming up to you going, are you a bloke? Well, I mean, uh, I just love the, the live environment. Quite often my work is in a studio and uh, in front of a camera and you don't get to see your audience. But when you do uh, pantomime, you know, the children and the families are all geared up. They're very excited. The adrenaline is pumping and you can run out and, you know, the character I'm playing, Josh the Jester, is very much the kind of audience friend. And you just get to have a wonderful connection between, you know, yourself and the families. Um, what I most enjoy about working in theatre is it's, it's, it's always varied. We always have a different show with different people to deal with, different sets, you know, different genres. We have, uh, we have everything from ballet to children's theatre to, to Jules Holland to Jimmy Carr, whoever, you name it. It's always different. Organising the pantomime, it's, it's sort of it's an all-year-round thing where sets have to be kind of found. Uh, Imagine Theatre, they have their own stock of sets, so they're sort of decided on during the year, the cast are decided on during the year. Various technical aspects are also spoken about quite early on, uh, but it's only really in the last few weeks before the show that things really sort of, sort of start heating up, as it were. So the rehearsals are happening the week before, then we start on the Monday, we start putting everything in, um, and we kind of go, 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 and then sort of midweek, then that's when the technical rehearsals start, and then after that, once those are finished, the lighting has to be sort of refined, and then, uh, and then the dress rehearsals happen, and then we're off, we're doing the show. So it's all very quick, and it can be quite stressful at times, and, but usually quite good fun as well. Well, I mean, you know, in fact, just behind us right now, there's a get-in going on with a new show. It's always a very, very exciting time at a theatre, um, particularly coming up to the panto period, because uh, obviously it's not just about coming to see the wonderful show, it's about the huge team uh, that's responsible for putting it on. Um, all of the uh, technicians and the set decorators, the costume, the makeup, it's, it's all there. The musicians and the storyline, of course, has got to be very strong. So uh, you can't get any kind of more exciting than uh, and Panto, really. It's, it's, it's great fun. Um, Panto's vital because it's the first time the kids go into the theatre. And they, it's the first time they get the magical experience of the lights going down and the curtain opening and the orchestra's warming up or the band or whatever. I love that. And then you can hear the kids go, <gasps> when you, we have a little monitor in the dressing room and you can hear it, all the, the kids are making noise and then the lights and the music start and they go, <gasps> and the, they go quiet and they go, wow, what's going to happen? They don't know. They've never been. They don't know what's going to happen. Well, I think Sleeping Beauty, uh, the, the key thing is the storyline. It's one of the best pantos we've got. It's a fantastic storyline with the Wicked Witch and the spinning wheel and, you know, the whole of the kingdom sleeping for a hundred years and the prince coming along to save the day. It's got everything in it. We've got a fantastic team here, cast and crew. So it's going to be a very exciting time. Bring everybody from, you know, naught to 90. Uh, because there's something for everyone. There really is a character for everyone. And uh, they'll have fun, it's magic, music. Uh, it, it, you can't help but get sucked into this sort of uh, exuberance of a, of a pantomime.